Hey guys, so welcome back to my Practically Imperfect Life. Today I thought I would do something just a little bit different and share a crafting project with you. This is one that I just finished up doing this week with my teenagers and we had so much fun doing it. And it was one of those projects where I felt like it could easily be adapted to be done by middle school and high school students. And the materials are readily available at area craft stores. So if your teenagers are looking to make some homemade and beautiful gifts to gift the family members this Christmas, Keep watching and we will show you how to make these awesome customized mug toppers. So step one is choosing a mug to make a topper for. I like these Ray Dunn mugs. They are all about the same size. The diameter across it is going to be similar from one mug to the other. And this would be really cute if you chose a mug and then made a topper that kind of matched it and gave that all as one big gift. But if you measure the top of these Ray Dunn mugs, most of them have, like I said, the same diameter, which is about three and a half inches across. And that's how big we're going to need a base for. For a base material, I chose to use two millimeter chipboard. This is just Cricut chipboard and I cut it out with my Cricut machine and you see it just barely fits across the top here. Perfect size. Now you could also use like a heavier cardboard and cut circles out, but I just wanted to make it easy and have them all be uniform. So I just designed this on my Cricut and cut it all out. But again, cardboard works just fine for this project. Then we need some sort of filler. So I have a couple of options here. I have little half styrofoam balls. These are two inch wide. You'll see it fills up a little bit of space, but not as much as I really want. So I also have these three inch styrofoam balls here and I'm just going to be cutting it in half and that way I can make two from one styrofoam ball there. Now you could also use like, oh, a ball of plastic wrap or something along those lines as well. Next you'll need a container of DAP Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling. This goes on white and then it dries white and like it says, it's extremely lightweight so these toppers won't be super heavy. It does take a couple of hours to overnight to dry all the way, but you'll see it just works beautifully for this project and is very lightweight. I'm also going to be using an 18 inch piping bag. Now you could also roll parchment up and turn that into a bag, but a piping bag is preferable. And you'll need a piping tip. This is a larger piping tip. It's a Wilton 2D piping tip. Basically you need a large closed star piping tip to make the shape of the whipped cream. To give the effect of a caramel or a chocolate sauce, I have some acrylic paints that I got from Walmart. So I have this a uh, classic caramel color to make caramel drizzle. And then I have chocolate bar to make a chocolate or a mocha looking drizzle. To create sprinkles or other clay shapes, you'll need some oven baked clay. And I'll show you a little later how we created these sprinkles that you see in the containers here in front of me. And as far as decorations, you can do lots of things. These are some clay sprinkles that I made. And uh, again, I'll show you how those are created. I've also created a couple of different shapes using just silicone molds. These are the molds that you would normally use to make like fondant pieces, but I used some to make some flower shapes. If you'd like to put a straw in your topper, you can do that as well. So I picked up a couple different colors and I will be cutting these down shorter so you know they look the right size for our toppers. Since I'm making some holiday themed toppers, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found a bunch of really cute just mini ornaments and uh, decorations and colorful fake candies and buttons to put. Uh, so most of these are made for mini trees and I will just be cutting off the little uh, ribbons that are attached to each of them. But you'll see I just found all kinds of cute things on sale at Hobby Lobby to use. I just really like all these little gingerbread people. They're so cute. Now you could also find some larger pieces. I did find a couple of ornaments that looked like food items, like these macaroons here. And if I'm gonna use these, I will again cut the ribbon off and I will place them into the topper so this little metal ring is hidden inside the frosting. So I made the sprinkles ahead of time using a clay extruder. This was just a few dollars on Amazon and it comes with lots of different types of metal inserts to make different types of clay shapes. So you can see just a few examples here, but there's tons more. Anyways, I'm gonna put the one that has these tiny holes in it um, and use that. I push the clay into the extruder and then I put my chosen insert into the cap and 
put that on the end. Sorry, it looks funny while I'm doing it here. I was holding the camera with one hand while working with the extruder. Then I lined a cookie pan with some aluminum foil and I just twisted out the clay onto that, spread out the pieces so they weren't really touching too much. And then I put these in the oven at 250 degrees for 15 minutes. You'll do whatever your particular clay product recommends for baking time and temperature. When they were done, they were semi-firm, and then I just cut them into sprinkle sizes using scissors. Now you could also create other shapes, such as these flowers that I made from silicone molds. There are just limited options of what you can create. So I've laid down some parchment paper to protect my work surface. I've got my little pieces ready to go. And then I took the styrofoam ball, cut it in half, and then I hot glued it onto the base here, just so it kind of holds it in place while I'm working on things. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my DAP Fast and Final Spackling and I'm going to put that into my piping bag. Now on these larger piping bags they do make couplers that fit into the bags but I have chosen to just go ahead and put the tip all the way down into the bottom so I'm not dirtying up one of my couplers. Alright so I've got my bag filled here with my spackling and what we're going to be doing is creating a swirl around the styrofoam ball shape and you're basically just going to squeeze with even pressure and just go around and keep going around and around until you've covered the whole shape with your spackling here and you might decide to like hold it up while you're piping you might pipe it while it's flat on the table just do whatever is easiest for you but you'll see here i'm just going to start and even pressure I'm going to go all the way around the styrofoam ball part I'm going to take this paint and I'm just going to drizzle it back and forth across the top here to make it look like it's got chocolate syrup dripping on it and you can go you know, any which way that you'd like to go and then I think I'll do one with a caramel color as well so we'll make two different designs here Now just have fun decorating your toppers. You can do sprinkles, you can do any of the little knick-knack things that you've picked up. You can add straws. So I'm just going to let the video play here and we'll see what we come up with in the end. All right, and that wraps up our mug topper project. I will go ahead and I will list the materials that we use down below along with links where you can purchase those materials. But just know that you can also go to your local craft stores, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, and you can find these materials readily available there. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel so you can be notified when I post new homeschooling and mom life content. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Christmas season and I will see you in the next video.